Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about head position. Where do you look or where should your head be while you're swimming? And this relates to doing front crawl or freestyle or breaststroke or even butterfly, okay? <laughs> Any uh, stroke where your face is in the water, we need to talk about, okay? So excluding backstroke when you're looking up, we obviously know where we're supposed to look. The answer is quite simple, but a lot of people just don't practice it. And the head position can determine whether or not you have a good swim or a bad swim. Because when you think about it, you have either two options. You can look forward like this while you're swimming, like this, or you, look, you can look downwards while you're swimming, like this. Which one looks more natural to you in your opinion? Or this one? My money is on this one. Why? Because the neck is flexing in order for me to do this. Whereas, if I look downwards, my neck is relaxed and I'm just letting the water do all the heavy lifting on my face versus me trying to force my head out using my neck muscles. The main giveaway to a newbie swimmer is their head position. Whenever I see a swimmer or a video of someone swimming, I can tell right away if that person's a newbie if they're doing front crawl like this. And I don't mean like this, out of the water. I'm talking about their face looks like this in the water. I know that they are cranking their neck muscles in order to keep up with this position. And why? Why do they do this? Because it's natural for them to want to see where they're going. They want to see where they're swimming towards. I get it. But over time, it's going to hurt your neck. The most natural way for your head to be positioned while you're swimming is to look downwards. Nine times out of ten, I'm looking downwards. Unless, unless I am in a lane shared with other swimmers. Then I gotta pay attention to my surroundings. It's like driving in traffic now, because you have oncoming traffic, traffic behind you, traffic in front of you. You gotta be aware of these three three areas. What's in front of you, what's coming oncoming the other way, opposite of you, and what's behind you. Now, how do I monitor this, this, and this if I'm looking downwards all the time? Well, first of all, let's start with the, the basics. Most of the times, you should be looking downwards like this. All right, now, how I scan forwards is, well, I have two options. I can tilt my neck up just a little bit, right? I don't leave it there, but I can flex it and look up occasionally, just in case somebody's in front of me, I know. but I don't want to keep it there. That's the problem. I see a lot of people just keeping it there all the time. You don't want to do that. It's going to hurt your neck. Second option is to look with your eyes instead. So what I'm doing is I'm looking forwards by moving my eyes forwards instead. So for example, right now, I'm my face is looking downwards right now. You can see my nose is pointing straight to the bottom of the water. But I can roll my eyes up and I can see the camera right now up here. Can you see my eyes? You can barely see them but I'm looking forwards right now and I can see the camera right now I'm looking at. All right that's the difference. This versus this. Which is easier? This one or this one? My money is on this one okay? This is what I usually do when I scan forwards. I look like this. This is what seriously this is what I do. Most of the times, when I'm scanning forwards. If I'm in a pool like this, there's not much around me for me to pay attention to, so I don't have to worry so much. So, I can get by with just this. Just look up, looking up like that. That's it. Very simple. You don't need to move your neck. Now, what about scanning behind me? Well, if someone's sitting behind me, I know that they're tailgating me, I'm gonna let them pass. But if they're continuously stalking me from behind, then I can check by looking 
downwards more. So let me show you what I mean. You see what I did? All I'm doing is just looking towards my armpit. One of my armpits. Okay, so I look towards there and I just see who's behind me. I can see what's behind me most of the time. gets the job done. I don't need a rear view mirror like a car does. And I can see about 75% of what's behind me if I do this method. Okay, so just look behind my armpit. That's where I look. What about oncoming traffic? So if you're swimming this way and you're sharing a lane and another swimmer is swimming that way, how do you check to see if you know they don't swerve or you swerve into them, right? You don't want that to happen, okay? Head on collision. It happens a lot when you share lanes in a pool. All I do is the same thing. Just scan, but instead of looking here, I look that way. That's it, 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle. Occasionally I'll look that way with my head and my neck doing most of the work. But you gotta think of it this way. If you're a serious swimmer, if you're a professional swimmer, you know that any body part that sticks out of the water is going to be really, really heavy and hard to maintain. If you don't believe me, try doing this drill. Stick your arms up in the air and do back kicking. This is so goddamn hard, okay? Why? Because my whole arm is sticking out of the water and it's pushing my body down towards the bottom of the pool. Whereas if I kick like this, with my arm to my side, then it's more manageable. But most of my body is in the water, except for this arm that's holding this camera right now that you see. So test it out for yourself if you don't believe me. Do this. Versus this. Which one's easier? Same with the head. The longer you stick your head out of the water, like this, like this, you're gonna hurt your neck, you're gonna make your body sink more down into the water, and you're just wasting energy. If you wanna swim optimally, you need to conserve your energy. And you gotta work on these areas of your body that's draining your energy most of the time. And a lot of people, they suffer from the head position, which is so simple to fix. Just look down, okay? Whenever you see a YouTube video, you see a swimmer looking forward like this, they're an amateur, okay? That's a dead giveaway. When you see me doing front crawl, pay attention to where my face or my, where my nose is looking, and note that my eyes are looking towards the camera as I'm doing it. Nose is looking down. I'm looking down. My face is looking down. My neck is totally relaxed, letting the water handle all that weight of my head for me. So to recap, where do you look when you swim with your face in the water? You look down, but your eyes look forwards like this. Okay. And occasionally you can check by flexing your neck. Okay. But never keep it in this position. Never. How do you check behind you? You look underneath your armpit, okay? You look underneath, and 75% of the time you can see what's going on behind you. And how do you check oncoming traffic? Well, you look 45 degrees, okay? So here, face down, my eyes are rolling that way. And leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to swim, check out 7dayswim.co, okay? It's an online course. My swimming course that teaches you how to swim from A to Z. There's a free trial you can check out if you want, if you're broke. And if you have the money, pony up, buy the course, save time. Jesus Christ. 30, 30 years worth of swimming compiled, compressed into one online course that I give you that will
just bootstrap your swimming from A to Z. Save you tons of time, save you tons of money. You got nothing to lose, man. So just take the course, buy the course, click the link, get there, go right now, take some action, start swimming now, okay? Talk to you later, bye.